Hello, welcome back to our program. Hello, nice to see you. 今天是第四十五课第一讲，在这一讲里边，我们要学习第四十五课课文《瞎子与大象》（The Blind Man and the Elephant）。好，下面我们就请 Terry 来念一下这篇课文。The blind men and the elephant. There were once six blind men in India, who stood by the roadside every day, begging from the people who passed. They had often heard of elephants. But they had never seen one, for being blind, how could they? It so happened one morning that an elephant was being driven down the road where they stood begging. When they were told that a great beast was before them, they asked the driver to let him stop so that they might see him. Of course. They could not see him with their eyes, but they thought that by touching him they could learn just what kind of animal he was. For you see, they trusted their own sense of touch very much. The first happened to put his hand on the elephant's side. Well, he said. Now I know all about this beast. He is like a wall. The second felt about the elephant's tusk. My brother, he said, you are quite mistaken. He is not at all like a wall. He is round and smooth and sharp. He is more like a spear. Than anything else, the third happened to take hold of the elephant's trunk. Both of you are entirely wrong," he said. "Anybody who knows anything can see that this elephant is like a snake." The fourth reached out his arms and grasped one of the elephant's legs. Oh, how blind you are," he said. "It is very plain to me that he is round and tall, like a tree." The fifth, being a very tall man, happened to take hold of the elephant's ear. The blindest man ought to know that this elephant is not like any of the things you name. He said, "He is exactly like a huge fan." The sixth was very blind indeed, and it was some time before he could find the elephant at all. At last, he got hold of the elephant's tail. "Oh, silly fellows!" he said, "you surely have lost your senses." The elephant is not like a wall, or a spear, or a snake, or a tree. Neither is he like a fan. But any man with a little sense can see that he is exactly like a rope. Then the driver and the elephant moved on, and the six men sat by the roadside all day quarrelling. About the elephant, each believed that he knew just what the beast looked like, and they called each other names because they could not agree. It is not just blind men who make such silly mistakes. People who have eyes sometimes act just as foolishly when they take a one-sided view of things. 好，下面请大家回答一些有关课文的问题。Question one: Where did the story take place? 
It took place in India. Question 2. What did the six blind men do for a living? They were beggars. They lived by begging from others. Question 3. Why did the first blind man think the elephant was like a wall? Because he laid his hand on the elephant's side, which was as flat as a wall. Question 4. Why did the second think the elephant was more like a spear than anything else? Because he touched the elephant's long and pointed tusk. Question 5. Why did the third disagree with the first and the second? Because he happened to take hold of the elephant's round trunk. So he thought it was like a snake. Question 6. What made the fourth think the elephant was like a tree? Because he happened to grasp one of the elephant's legs, which was round and tall like a tree. Question 7. What made the fifth think that the elephant was like a huge fan? Because he was very tall, and happened to take hold of the elephant's ear, which was as huge as a fan. Question 8. What did the sixth think of the opinions of the other five? He thought they were all wrong. He said the elephant looked exactly like a rope. Question 9. What do you think the story of the six blind men and the elephant tries to tell the readers? In my opinion, the story tries to tell us that it would be foolish to take a one-sided view of things. We should look at things from all sides. That's all for the questions. Now let's look at some of the language points in the text. 是啊，这个故事告诫人们不要片面的看问题，而要全面的看问题。Look at things from all sides. 好，下面我们再来学习课文中的一些语言知识。好，我们先来看一下课文第二段中的一句话。It so happened one morning that an elephant was being driven down the road where they stood begging. 这句话的中文意思是：一天上午，碰巧有人赶着一头大象经过他们行乞的那条路。It so happened that， 或者 ，It happened that， 意思是碰巧或者。恰巧的意思，它是一个固定搭配。后面的从句用被动语态，以 an elephant 做主语，是为了突出故事的主角大象。
。好，下面我们一起来看一下 ，It so happened that 这个短语的几个例句。It so happened that I saw him yesterday. 昨天我碰巧看见了他。It so happened that both of them were there. 正好他们两人都在那儿。刚才的这个短语，只要认识了就不难使用。好，下面我们再来看一下第二段中的一句话。They asked the driver to let him stop. So that they might see him. 这句话的中文意思是，他们请赶相人把大象停下来，好让他们看一下。Him 代表 an elephant， 而不用 it， 可以做两种解释。第一种解释是，把动物拟人化，使文章更加生动有趣。第二。表明，这是一只雄象。据说亚洲象只有雄象才有长牙 ，tusk，tusk， tusk, 而此象是没有的。句中 ，so that， 为了使，以便，引出目的状语从句，和 in order that 意思相当。从句内常用助动词 may、might， 有时也用 shall、will。现在更多的用 can、could。好，下面我们来看一些类似的句子。I got up early so that I could have time. To read English. 我早起是为了有时间读英语。I'll leave him a note so that he'll know where we are. 我要给他留个条，好让他知道我们在哪儿。上面的。So that, 意思是为使，以便，表示目的。不过，请大家注意 ，so that 还有另外一层意思，那就是所以、因此的意思。它常常引出结果状语从句，从句前面常用逗号。好，请看一些类似的例句。I took no notice of him, so that he flew into a rage. 我没理他，因此他大发雷霆。I was in the bath, so that I didn't hear the telephone. 我在洗澡，所以没听见电话铃声。好，接着我们再分别来看一下第五段中和倒数第三段中的一句话。He is not at all like a wall. 这句话的意思是，大象根本不像高墙。The sixth was very blind indeed. And it was some time before he could find the elephant at all. 这句话的意思是，第六个盲人实在是太瞎了。过了好半天，他才好歹摸到了大象。这两句话里面都有 at all 这个短语，两者用法和意思是不一样的。第一句中的 at all 有丝毫、根本的意思。用在否定句中 ，not at all 就是毫不、根本不的意思。第二句中的 at all 
用在肯定句中，意思是 in any way， 相当于中文的好歹、不管怎样的意思。好，我们来看几个相似的例句。He is not at all stupid. 他一点不傻。I did not at all expect that she would come. 我根本不指望她会来。That hat does not suit you at all. 那顶帽子根本不适合于你。Considering the hard storm, I was surprised that he came at all. 如此风猛雨急的天气，他竟然还来，我感到很吃惊。I like to go anywhere at all. 随便上哪儿我都喜欢。从上面的例句中，我们可以看出，当 at all 用在否定句中和肯定句中的意思是不一样的。另外 ，at all 还可以用在疑问句和条件从句中，表示究竟、既然的意思。例如。Do you know anything at all? 你究竟知不知道 ？Do it well if you do it at all. 既然做，你就得做好。At all 是一个加强语气的固定短语，在句子中，特别是在肯定句当中的翻译并不容易。有时只有根据上下文细细琢磨才行。好，接着我们再来看一下倒数第二段中的一句话。And they called each other's names because they could not agree. 这句话的中文意思是，由于看法不同，他们就互相谩骂起来。Call each other names, 意思是互相谩骂。Call somebody names, 这是一个动词短语，意思是骂人。注意 ，names 一定要用复数，它的名词短语形式是 name calling, name calling。请看例句。It's wrong to call others names. 骂人是不对的。They soon sank to simple name calling. 他们很快就弄到用脏话相互谩骂的地步。Sank to. 意思是渐渐进入 ，simple， 意思是纯粹的、完全的。Call somebody names， 骂人，容易和 call somebody's name， 叫某人的名字，或者和 call off names， 点名，这两个短语混淆起来。好，请大家比较下面几个句子。I heard him call his wife names. 我听到他骂他的妻子。I heard someone call my name. 我听到有人叫我的名字。He usually calls off names at the beginning of the weekly meeting. 在每周例会前，他通常都要点名。Goodbye for now. 
and I'm sure you enjoyed the story of the six blind men and the elephant. 好，这讲就学到这儿。Thank you for staying with us. Goodbye. Bye bye.